I obsessed with death? I don't know if I'm obsessed with it, but I mean, I'm around the thought of it all the time. But I really want to teach people, and it's, it's a fine line because I want to show the world the truth about death and life and diseases. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to handle and people report my photos. Actually, someone reported my photo last night. <laughs> My name is Nicole Angemi, and I run the Instagram account at Miss underscore Angemi, and I'm a pathologist assistant. If I was a superhero, my name would be the Dora Mata. The Dora Mata, or Tough Mother, is the outermost layer of the meninges and is a thick, fibrous layer that covers and protects the brain, appropriately named. So pathology, in, to just to sum it up, is just the study of disease. That's all it means. I'm not a pathologist. I'm a pathologist assistant. They're looking at microscope slides that I made for them. I'm wearing scrubs and they're in a lab coat and they're kind of in their office clean. <laughs> I don't want to be a doctor because I don't want to sit behind a microscope all day. I like being elbows up in blood. I like being dirty. I like being dirty. <laughs> Normally on a day-to-day -day basis, I wear glasses because my eyes are really bad. But today I'm wearing contacts, so I'm going to put on a pair of safety glasses. I have had some splatters on me in the past, for sure. I definitely have gotten things on my face, in my mouth, but it comes with the job. I started at an educational hospital and I was really into teaching and I did a ton of autopsies over the course of a couple years and we had conferences and we showed organs all the time and I loved it. And then I had a study set of organs that I used to keep aside for teaching. And then I thought, maybe more than students or would be interested in this. I think everybody in the world would be interested in this. I think everybody should be interested in what's going on in our own bodies. I try to use my Instagram to show everyone every different aspect of pathology, from autopsies to surgical pathology, just to show people that it's not that big of a deal and that this stuff happens to everyone. So r right now, I think today I hit 77,000 followers. Out of 77,000 people in this world, this isn't just happening to you. So my first account was called I Heart Autopsy, and then my account got deleted because my photos I was posting were way too racy for people to handle. It was, you know, dead bodies smeared across the sidewalk and people just couldn't handle it, so it got deleted. I'm a little scared because I'm scared that this account's just a hair away from being deleted too, I don't know. Sometimes I'll post a video and my husband will say, Nicole, it just got 200 comments in 53 seconds, delete it. Because he knows that if a lot of people are tagging their friends on it for shock value, that they're the ones that are getting reported. I'm also noticing that most of my Forensic Friday posts pictures are getting reported because you fall down the steps, you hit your head, you shoot yourself in the face, you kill your wife. All of those bodies are considered forensic autopsies, so they, they tend to hit people maybe in the heart a little bit more, which tends to make people report things. I, I'm trying my hardest to be a little bit more relaxed with the photos. One of them I had deleted in the past was I put a mystery diagnosis of a piece of foreskin and then that didn't get deleted, but then when I put the answer for the mystery diagnosis, that one got deleted, because I put foreskin. It was a piece of skin, though. It wasn't, a pe it wasn't a penis, it just was a piece of skin that said foreskin. So, it just bothers me, because I'm like, you know, they wouldn't delete Kylie Jenner's page. You know what I mean? Like, they wouldn't do it to a famous person that posts inappropriate pictures, which they do all the time a 17-year-old that's half naked. That's the kind of stuff that just makes me mad. I also like to put photos of what I'm doing in my personal life. I don't want it to just be this like mystery account. You know, I want you to see 
what's going on in my house, you know, what I'm doing on a Friday night, what, you know, what my children are doing. And I try to do a lot of posts on miscarriages and fetuses, especially because I'm a woman and I'm a mom. So that stuff interests me because that's kind of what I'm going through in life right now. A lot of my very close friends have had a lot of problems with reproduction and everything. And I know that it's a really sore subject for a lot of women. And I almost try to do it in such a way that it seems hopeful to women that they'll, that it's so common that it's not just them. Because I know, it, especially one of my best friends had such a hard time and she was in such a dark place. And now she has two beautiful children. And I don't think that people realize how common miscarriages are. We get four to five of them a day. I mean, people don't talk about it because it's embarrassing and you, you feel like kind of a failure as a woman that you that you can't reproduce. And But I that's why I like to, to show it because we get so many of them and I just want to show show women, you know, you're you're normal. This happens to everyone. I have this conversation with women all the time. You know, you might have three and four of them in your life. It's totally normal. So this is a pretty normal placenta. It's pretty full term. So this right here are the membranes which are attached here. This is what is called the amniotic sac. This sac is filled with fluid. You hear of a mom's water breaking. That's what breaks is this sac. So I get into arguments on people with my Instagram all the time because people tell me that the baby lives inside the uterus. No, it doesn't. It lives inside the placenta. The placenta lives inside the uterus. Inadvertently, I'm having people send me a lot of messages with a lot of their own lumps and bumps, which I just did a post about because I don't want to go there because I'm not a doctor. I'm not trained to treat people and I don't feel comfortable diagnosing people at all. I do feel comfortable telling people why people die, why people get sick. That's kind of the point of my Instagram, you know what I mean? It, it's, not, it's not for me to be some kind of Instagram doctor, you know, oh, you just send me a text message picture of your organ and I'll diagnose you so you don't have to go to the doctor. That's not the point. So this is actually a post I did the other day too of the um, an umbilical cord cross section. So it's supposed to have two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein. Some PAs will say it has three vessels, has a trivascular cord, but when you look at it, it's really cool. It has this cute little smiley face. And that's normal, that's completely normal. I don't really get squeamish about anything. I mean, the thing is, is that autopsies stink. They don't, they don't smell good. A dead bo a body starts decomposing the second it dies. You know, you cut open bowels, it's poop, it's blood. It's, it, don't, it, it doesn't smell good. These are called enterotomy scissors. These are special scissors that are designed to open the bowel. The wall of the bowel is so thin, so this is a little blunted. Well, it's, it spills everywhere. Poop gets everywhere when you're doing an autopsy. Poop is part of the game. This is just so it opens in like one clean line and doesn't rip through. Also, something that really skeeves me out is when I'm taking out a brain and I have to actually comb a person's hair and it's kind of like wet and, cause I have to comb their hair to, to part it, to make the incision, to take out their brain. But I mean, there's nothing really that is, is off limits to me, basically. I just kind of like make a face and move on with it. And then the final step that, that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up. It looks like steak, basically. And that's what it's normally supposed to look like. So I've, I've, I see something that's kind of abnormal, but it's not a huge deal. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is just like get my scissors here and just cut a little piece of this out. You know, I'll call that full thickness section of central placenta, and that'll be for the doctor to look at. Even though the specimen's this big, the doctor's only looking at these couple little pieces, and that's it. The doctor trusts me that I didn't miss something. So our job is like really important. Certain cases, like if this had something really cool in it that had like a tumor that was like a rare placenta tumor, I would like keep a slice of it with my teaching collection and that's what I do all day. I just do that, and then this might be a placenta. The next bucket's a colon, the next bucket's a breast. The next thing is a piece of paper that says I have a leg in the refrigerator with gangrene. There's privacy laws in the hospital, so I'm never gonna post photos that would ever 
take that away from any patient. To me, this is all about education. It's not about exploiting anybody. It's not about whose foot that was. Sometimes people send me pictures like with a tattoo in it. I mean, I can't use that. There's a tattoo in it unless I could blur it out somehow. Sometimes if I could tell what's in the background, I'll crop it out. We have to be respectful of that first and foremost. A lot of people in the medical field actually get angry at me that I post some of these photos and they say, this photo should stay in the medical museum. You should not be posting these photos. This is for our learning. This is not for the general public. And it makes me so mad because I say, why does only medical students get to see these dissections? Why can't, you know, my next door neighbor see it? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. If, if someone wants to see what an autopsy looks like, why can't they have access to that? Do I think that Instagram is helping me be a medical crusader? It, as long as Instagram keeps letting me do what I'm trying to do and not delete my account, then yeah, I mean, I love my role in it. I think I have a lot of people's attention and I, I feel good about what I'm doing.